Chair. Thank the you. The gentleman from Texas, Mr. Sessions, is now recognized for five minutes. Mr. Chairman, thank you very much. Chairman, welcome back. Uh, I think we enjoy this. I hope you do too. I know there's some bit of trepidation about all the things that are available to us and you to, to answer. You know, I learned a long time ago on a campaign trail, every problem can be solved on a campaign. Reality is a little bit different. Um, welcome back, despite all that. Um, looking at the Monetary Policy Report, March 1st, 2024. And as I review this, I would like to focus on the term that I would say, high prices are here to stay. Because what I've heard you say today in this report really go to is, you got everything under control, but it's, we're gonna keep the high prices. And I think the high prices really take a toll on the American people, as you're hearing from our colleagues, no matter whether they be Republican or Democrat. Uh, page seven of your report, you don't have to go focus on it, it says, while current services, core service price inflation has been slowing, but remains elevated. It does. Uh, labor costs, as you know, and energy costs are a driver to your monetary policy. Uh, the question that I have is, because you began referencing policy, uh, two weeks ago or so, the president announced that he was going to slow down uh, the, uh, the gifting of opportunities in Texas for natural gas to be able to continue the exploration. And this in Texas is a trillion dollar answer problem to us because if we do not constantly go find through these uh, new finds, but also through the pro permitting process, we're in trouble. But we're also putting in trouble our contracts that we have with Germany and a lot of other countries. This is going to mean also that business in America continues to have high prices because as you know, wages are already high and now energy is high. There's no resiliency to continue this and see the American people win. You talked about policy, so what's your advice to policy about energy and what this administration is doing on a policy perspective? Um, we have you know, broad, significant, important uh, responsibilities, but we're really not responsible for energy policy, and we try to avoid commenting on uh, But it has a huge impact for. on this report. It arbitrarily keeps prices high. It, it arbitrarily means that business is not, while they're making money, and while households people do buy that, it's diminishing their long-term advantages to make progress. So you're, you're just gonna leave that alone? Really not appropriate for us to comment. I, you know, on, if, it's, if I'm commenting on energy policy, I should comment on everything. You know, it's, it's, well, we have a you, mandate which is maximum employment and price stability. We take decisions by the legislature and by the administration as a given. We're not in charge of second guessing them. It's just not our job. Okay, well, all right, let's say we're not gonna second guess them, I will. Uh, I believe that the energy policies that this president and, and the Democratic Party have supported are causing a huge uh, boom in prices staying high. They will not come down. A boom in, in attacking the uh, energy industry, uh, jobs that are associated with it, our foreign policy, as it relates to contracts that we have signed with foreign countries, giving up the natural gas market almost entirely on a world market to Qatar. It has a huge uh, impact on whether we are going to keep prices high or control these prices. It has a huge impact on, I think, your monetary report about how many houses get built, how many jobs get filled, whether we have jobs in place, whether we continue to have more jobs available than workers that are there, because over-regulation is having a lot to do with the nervousness, not only on this panel, but also by the American people. It would be my hope that you would pass some sort of a memo and tell them you have no opinion, but you want 
them to see what the impact is. I want to thank you for being here. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back my time.